Cleveland Cavaliers have found a really, really good player in a Chai Baji with him recently just destroying his first summer league game. Again, this guy was a dude that a lot of people were really kind of skeptical when the Cleveland Cavaliers drafted. Um, on, on, of course, the on draft night with the 14th overall pick, a lot of people were just like, you know, hold on a second. This is a... This is an interesting one because he's a 22-year-old guy who potentially might not have enough room or much more room to develop. And I think, honestly, people saying that, it was pretty ridiculous. I think he was always going, I think he's always going to develop and kind of do his own thing. But at the end of the day, a lot of people had their doubts. Some people as well saying they would, he was just too small and all this type of stuff and that he's, you know, basketball wouldn't transition over to the NBA well so far in the first taste of G League that we've gotten it definitely has in the 32 minutes or so that he played he absolutely went off scoring 44 and a half percent from three 16 points and a lot of these shots were genuine shots that are going to absolutely convert over to the NBA they were a lot of catch and shoot type of shots and he just looked like he absolutely went off and just had himself a field day and if he can consistently do this in the nba and average 10 points and provide the defense that he had he will he will be an absolute great player for the cavaliers now the Cavs got some questions that they've got to look at colin sexton right now has not been re-signed at the time making this video by the Cleveland cavaliers i don't know what is fully going on there it is a little bit of a weird one in my opinion i'm not exactly too sure there's a rumor going around that he's got absolutely no market at the moment so even if the cavaliers wanted to find a trade um that just couldn't happen but they are potentially going to be looking to bring him in for a cheaper type of contract then you've got the other one of jetty osmond has yet to be traded so you got all of these type of situations where a child might struggle to potentially find minutes in his first season or so with the Cleveland Cavaliers. But I think once they figure out what's going to be going on with all these type of things, I think we could see a try maybe averaging the 15 to 20 minutes per game as a backup wing. You know, I, I rate him a lot higher than I do Dylan Windler. I think he could be even a better player than what Isaac Okoro has been for the Cavaliers thus far. Um, I still think he'd be a better fit than what Jetty Osman has kind of produced for the Cavaliers. There's a lot to kind of look at. There's a lot of ifs and buts, but I think with the way that Achai Agbaji has gone about his summer league performance, you can just tell that this guy is going to translate straight over to the NBA. Now, again, I do understand that some people were saying that the Cavaliers should have taken Tari Eason. That's fair enough. Tari Eason played a really good game for the Houston Rockets in the Summer League and actually looked like he'd be more NBA ready than what Jabari Smith has been so far, which is just absolutely crazy to potentially say. But I think that, yes, Tari Eason does have the height, but I think a Chai could definitely be a much better player, like a dude that... You could definitely see even start on the Cavaliers one day. Again, they're probably going to start Isaac Okoro for the time being. Um, and then continue to bring Karis LeVert off as like a shot creator off the bench. But the thing is as well is I think when it comes to a Chayag Baji, he could be a dude that slowly works himself into this rotation and maybe even starts for the Cavaliers down the line. I think that would actually be a really awesome thing to kind of see. But again, as I said, he absolutely dominated Summer League, especially in the first game. And I'm kind of interested to see how this is, of course, going to unfold and happen. It's going to be really interesting, in my opinion. But again, there's going to be a lot of ifs and buts to kind of see how this goes. Um, and yeah, if I'm going to be personally honest, I think we could even see a try, maybe even start some games this season. I think that would be a really awesome thing. And yeah, hopefully... It, the bed, the, it gets put to bed of the conversation of who would be, you know, who would maybe going to be the better fit out of Tari Eason and a try. I think, again, Tari Eason maybe in terms of body length, you know, the body size, this and that, maybe would have been considered the better choice. But 
Again, at the end of the day, I think Achai is going to be the better player. And his 3 and D type of game style really fits into what the Cleveland Cavaliers, I think, are trying to work out now. But of course, if you haven't already, please make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel for the latest NBA news and NBA content. Don't forget to comment your thoughts and opinions down below. Did you guys like this video? Did you guys not? Of course, I would definitely really like to know your thoughts and opinions. All, of these, all my other channels will be linked down below if you guys would please go and check them out. Of course, I would highly appreciate it. Again, comment what your thoughts and opinions are with the Trike Bargy. Are you guys happy with what he's produced so far? Let me know down below. If you guys are the same, please make sure to leave a like, subscribe, and comment. And I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.